Listening. Part 4. Audio 1. Did you enjoy your meal last night? Oh, it was absolutely delicious. I really had a great time. What did you have? Well, it was a steak restaurant, but there were other options on the menu, like fish and pasta. The atmosphere was really nice as well. David told me he had the pasta. Yes, he did. But then he spent the whole meal looking at my fish, clearly wishing he had ordered that instead. I could tell he was a bit envious. That's funny. What kind of fish was it? It was a grilled salmon with a lemon butter sauce. So flavorful. Sounds amazing. I might have to try that next time. You definitely should. And the sides were great. Two roasted vegetables and a creamy risotto. Wow. Now I'm really hungry. Audio 2. Come on, Mott. We're going to be late. I know, I know. But I can't find the car keys. They aren't in the hall. Have you looked under the sofa? You took your coat off in here last night. Maybe they fell out of your pocket. That's a good idea. I'll check right now. Oh, don't bother. Here they are, next to the fridge. You probably put them here when you got the milk out for breakfast. Ah, uh, there they are. I really need to be more organized. I swear I'll remember next time. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. But we really need to hurry. The movie starts in half an hour. Got it. I'll grab my bag and we can go. Did you remember the tickets? Yes, I have them right here. Now, let's make sure we don't get stuck in traffic again. Audio 3. So, what are you doing this weekend? I will be visiting my grandparents. They're having a party. That's nice. Is it someone's birthday? No, actually, granddad turned 72 in October. This party is to meet their new neighbors. They moved to a new house last weekend. Oh, I see. Did you help them move? Yes, I did. My brother and sister helped, too. It was quite a job, but we managed to get everything sorted in one day. That's great. Moving can be such a hassle. Did they get everything unpacked? Mostly. They still have a few boxes left, but they're focusing on getting settled. I think the party will be a nice way for them to relax and meet everyone. Sounds lovely. Are you bringing anything to the party? Yes, I'm bringing some snacks and drinks. I thought it would be nice to contribute since they're hosting. That's thoughtful of you. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. I hope so. It will be nice to catch up with everyone and make some new friends, too. Audio 4 You won't believe it. You know the suit I wore to the meeting last week. I took it to the dry cleaners and they said they could clean it in an hour. So I went to a cafe to wait. Oh no. That sounds frustrating. Exactly. When I returned, I paid for the service and came home, feeling relieved that it would be all fresh and ready for my next meeting. But when I looked carefully at the suit, it was still dirty. Are you serious? That's really annoying. I know. I paid a lot of money for nothing. I can't believe they didn't even bother to do a proper job. Did you go back to complain? Yes, I did. But they just shrugged it off, saying they'd clean it again for me. I don't want to waste more time or money. That's understandable. You deserve better service than that. Exactly. It's just so frustrating. I'm considering finding a new dry cleaner altogether. That might be a good idea. You shouldn't have to deal with that kind of hassle. Right. I just want my suit cleaned properly so I can look sharp for my meetings. Audio 5. Where do you live now, Chris? I live on the other side of town. I share a house with two other people. That sounds interesting. Do you like it there? Yes and no. The house itself is nice, but I need 30 minutes to cycle here in the morning. The traffic is terrible, especially during rush hour. Wow, that sounds frustrating. So why did you decide to move so far from work? Well, the city center was just too noisy for me. I wanted a bit more peace and quiet, you know? I get that. It can be overwhelming in the city. How are your housemates? They're great. We get along really well. We often cook dinner together and have movie nights, which helps make up for the long commute. That sounds nice. At least you have a good living situation. Do you think you'll move closer to work in the future? Maybe, but I'm not sure yet. I like the quieter environment, and if I can find a way to make the commute easier.
I might stay put for a while.